hi it's nika welcome back to my channel today i will be sharing my first half of my project life uh, spread for the month of august 2020 and yes i am still doing a bit of catch up but i'm doing a monthly format just so it doesn't take me forever to get caught up this first picture is a picture of a little a little crafting corner that I had set up in my craft room and I set this up mainly to get caught up on project life and to finish December daily last year and I did not get very far I think I even posted this on Instagram like I did this big thing I was gonna do this big big catch-up session and I think I got maybe one or two spread project life spreads done and one December daily layout done before I just ran completely out of steam. It's like I don't know when the um when the lockdown first happened, I was just enjoying, just crafting, crafting, crafting. Then after a while I was just I don't know, I think I was just over being inside. But I did want to document my little, I don't know, my little corner I had set up. And I am just mounting, putting down the um, August, and I did the, I did the, those little square alphas. I did those ahead of time because I knew I wanted to put that somewhere on this spread. So this card will also kind of function as my title card for the month. And I did struggle a little bit with this layout because I wanted it to be very colorful. My pictures are not that bright. And also I did not print these on photo paper. They're printed on just regular copy paper from my laser printer. So if your pictures are a bit dark, like one way to bright lighten everything up is to go for a very, a very colorful layout and also mount all of your photos. So I did struggle a bit with this color scheme. Like I wanted to use this lime green card, but lime and citrus colors, I don't know, they're they're not my favorite and I kind of had a hard time putting everything together. And I think this this um this part may get a little choppy because it took me a long time just trying to get this card situated, so I I think I did edit out a good bit of it. I felt like, I don't know, it just needed something to anchor the card. It was getting a little too busy. I don't use this strip, but I did find another one. I think once once I got that strip down, I kind of, I don't know, it kind of, it kind of came together. And I think this layout, I had did, let me see, I had just finished the month of July and I felt like I had kind of, you know, found my crafting mojo again. And then I tried a different color scheme and I just struggled with this card. And then of course, the, the adhesive runs out right in the middle. I think once once I got that picture down, I know I kind of, kind of got a, um, feel for it and am I the only one who is just comfortable with certain color schemes and you just kind of struggle when you try and go out too far outside that box like my my favorite colors are like I feel like pink is a neutral like pink works on everything but I don't know kind of like pink and brown are easy colors for me to work with and I kind of I didn't even do the journaling for that card I kind of put it aside I'll come back at the end and do the journaling and this card is very simple I don't even think I added anything to it and that was just a screenshot of an insta story that I posted on Instagram and it just had hashtag boy mom and it says uh watching spider verse for the hundredth time hundredth time while packing orders so these two cards were pretty simple. And this next card is a picture of my son. We were trying to get ready for, get him ready to go back to school. So we had started doing some little work, some little work each day. And I, know, I feel like this card right here is that, that classic Project Life card, just, you know, a photo. 
photo in a little tag behind it or I don't know that's kind of like my classic style you just add a photo and a tag and call it done even though I, I do think I add a little bit more and I have been watching other project lifers and I know everyone is kind of doing like a simplified style and I've been feeling like maybe I should change my style I'm not sure so I'm thinking with the when I finally get caught up and start documenting this year, maybe I will, maybe I'll get one of the monthly subscription kits. But I don't know, right now I just have, I have a lot of stash to work through. So maybe once I get this stash dwindled down, I'll look into getting a kit or something. And I'm just looking for a word sticker to complete this card. And I feel like word stickers just kind of complete the card, gives it that finishing touch and this last this last uh, card I know I wanted to use these stars they had they have that look kind of like you give movie or food a star rating so the the card didn't work but so I end up just cutting the stars off and these pictures are like I'm I don't really, I don't know, food pictures are not that appetizing. I don't know, they're not that appealing to me and I don't really like looking at food pictures. So I'm trying, I don't know, I'm trying to make this, I don't know, do something with this card. So I found that that sticker just said good and one with the ampersand. So I'm just cutting that down because the, back, the background of that picture was black. So I kind of cut and crop the pictures as much as I can just to cut off some of the back background. Cause I think this food, yeah, this food was on the grill. This was the month of August. I don't know, it's like we discovered grilling was a new, a new lockdown hobby. So it was like, you know, let's see how many recipes we can do on the grill. And I think that week we made pineapple. It was like pineapple chicken and then like pineapple, no, and then like grilled shrimp skewers. And of course, yes, I gained all the lockdown weight and I'm still working on getting that weight off. But in the, I really do love the way this card turned out. Like I, I purposely placed the stickers like kind of around the edges to get rid of some of that black background. Just so the layout I could stay with that bright colorful I was kind of going for like a bright colorful theme and I think by just cutting the edges in the background off of everything it, that kind of helped and I'm just adding like a little strip or something just to anchor to anchor that word because it felt like it was just kind of it was kind of floating and on the top of that I did cut off some of the picture but I think there was some I tried to grill some vegetables and they didn't come out right anyway so it's okay that they didn't get included and I have had that sticker that says food coma that has been in my stash forever and I was excited because I finally get to use it on a layout I don't, I don't I don't even know where that sticker came from but it was one of one of those things like I've just been saving it like this is going to be the perfect sticker at some point so I find I finally get to use it and then I just added the little joy in the middle and I think I do add that camera on my last on my last layout I was trying to work that little camera in but it just it just didn't work on the last layout so I finally got it on this layout And right now I am just, I don't know, just adding all the extra because this card, it's not anything, it's not a serious memory, it doesn't really have heavy journaling. So I figured, you know, why not just get carried away with all the embellishments and extras. So I am just popping that uh, camera up on some foam tape. 
and I do add like a little journaling to this but I don't think I think the journaling just said uh, grilling or something it wasn't anything anything intense I just said grilling grilling barbecue every weekend and I am I think I'm I'm digging for something to put my put my journaling on oh and let me those of you who have been watching my project life process for a while let me know if you notice like a difference in my setup I didn't get a new camera but I'm back to using like my big camera because I got a new computer so I can film with my DSLR camera again so I'm not I'm not sure if it makes a difference or not but it is easier I know it's, it's easier to record with this one and that is it for this card I don't know I think I just added barbecuing everything eating everything and if any of you have not tried it grilled pineapples taste amazing on anything like just just throw them on top of anything yes I did become quite the uh, foodie during lockdown <laughs> So now I am just adding, putting this in the book. So I hope you enjoyed this process video and let me know if you guys are caught up on Project Life or did you stop in 2020 like I did. Let me know and I will see you guys in my next video.